right guys, thank you for running my RV. Today's video, we're gonna go over how to attach electrical and the sewage pipes and fresh water hoses on here. So right here, you're gonna open this up. This is where your electrical is gonna be at. This is your surge protector. You're gonna just take this, you're gonna run it down through the gap in the floor here. So it looks nice and neat. You're gonna plug it in to the bottom of here. And then this top part gets plugged right into the actual campground. This right here, don't try to pull. This comes down and you can actually hook onto that and pull that out of the electrical box or the circuit breaker that's in there. Right here, if you need to, this will be a lock. You can actually go like this and put this around the pipe or the piece of wood that they have their electrical coming out of but you won't really have to worry about that unless you buy your own. I do not have one yet. When you plug it in, this is gonna go through all its checks. It's gonna come up with, uh, with everything and everything's gonna come up on green. When it's ready to go, it's gonna say, I believe uh, all on, or it's gonna go through and just keep going through like 110 volts and all that. And as soon as everything's green, you'll be good. This is a 50 amp, but we can't go down to 30 amp. I have the connection right here on this side where you can take this 30 amp, plug it in, and then right here, the 50 amp goes onto that. And then this one will get plugged in to the 30 amp circuit. And then you just plug the 50 amp right down here at the bottom. And that's all you guys have to do. So after you get your electrical situated and everything's good, next thing we have is our plumbing. So right here in this box is your gray water and black water sewage. I'm gonna bring that on this side. And you'll take it out of here use this hose when you're leaving and this clear part gets connected right into here and the way that works is you just come down right underneath of it like this right through here this gets turned on and then this part will go right on to the their septic system these here are like stands so if you see they go down so the high part will sit in the back and the knees will sit right on top of here for a gradual slope down into the system that you're dumping your waste into when you're done you're going to remove when you're ready to get packed up i'm just going to put these in here for now but when you're getting everything packed up, this hose comes into play. You're gonna connect this side on to the back side of this. Let me take this off so you can see. So what you're gonna do is this will be connected up into there. You're gonna connect this onto the back right here and then this side's gonna go to the campground water supply. And what you're gonna do is the day before you leave, probably around like noon, is you're gonna close your gray water and your black water. Because when you show up to campground, you wanna leave your gray water closed or your black water closed and open up your gray water. Your gray water is just gonna be like sink and bathroom water. So you just leave that open, let that drain out, but leave your black water closed because what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw a pod into the black water system and that pod breaks down any of your fluids or anything that goes into the black water. So right around noon, one o'clock, two o'clock, the day before you leave, you're gonna close your black water. You're gonna hook this up. You're gonna open up your black water, let all that sewage go down and then you're gonna open up your gray water because you're gonna have water in that tank and that's just gonna flush everything out. Once all the gray water is out, 
you're going to close your gray water tank and leave your black water empty. That's when you go and take this hose, connect it to here, and this is a valve that you turn to open and it shoots a jet into the gray or the shoots a jet into the black water tank and that's what's going to clean out the black water tank. And I'll spray it in there, let it do its thing. And then once I see that the water coming through here is clear, I'll close the black water, take everything off, put it back in the here, and then we're done. All right, so once you had your black water and gray water hose hooked up, we can go over and do our fresh water hose. And that's gonna be right down over to here. So we're gonna pull this bin out, come down here. And in here is our fresh water. You should never have to take this filter off. This filter is good, and this is what's gonna filter your water going in. So what you're gonna do, I have a 90 degree on the fresh water connection. No more than 60 PSI. I haven't seen, the campgrounds we stay at, I haven't seen them really get above 30 to 40, so we'll be okay. What you'll do is you'll connect it up onto there, turn that on, and you can gently close the door so nothing gets in there. And then this side is your pressure gauge. So you'll connect this right to the campground water. And then once you have this right to the campground water, you got your pressure gauge that will tell you what the pressure is. And then you can adjust the pressure off of the campground if it's all the way open or you can adjust it back a little bit and this is going to tell you what that's at um, once you're done you can just close everything off you also have an outdoor shower here and also here is for like freshwater tap where you can hook a hose up to if you need to as well or you can get a y piece and hook it right up to the main feed from the campground itself all right that's it for the black water gray water and freshwater